Ree with Cute Nanny Things. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Hopefully I can get this video up and running just to prepare for this video. Um, I had to bring out a bunch of stuff. So anyways, what I want to plan on doing is showing you how I set up my vision board um, or my goals sheets in my planner. So um, as you can see, I'm using um, the Hello 2019 um, cover from the Be Happy box through Happy Planner. And I still have it on the metal gold rings. So I set this up as more of my wellness planner. So I wanted to be able to open it up and be able to see my goals and the things I plan for 2019 right when I open it up. So as you can see here, I have my New Year's resolution and my word for the year is balance. And so I haven't been able to create what I wanted to do um, for my vision for 2019 or my goals. So that's what we're going to do today. And I have a bunch of stuff I'm going to show you. So most of the time when I do this, I kind of do it fast to kind of show you, um, how, you know, like what I'm going to create, but I wanted to show more of the tools I used. So um, as you can see here, um, these were the spread I did with all the planner press um, digital dash box fashion girls um, from when I started with the um, digital dash box all the way to the 2019 uh, fashion girl. And I thought this spread was super cute. So I wanted to make sure this stays in here. And so what I have set up, I, I started making this. I am going to cover up this sheet and this is going to be the first part of my um, vision board. Let me see if I can get some more lighting. So I am going to cover this page up and then I'm going to put some stuff there. I think this is going to be like my work kind of goals. And then it opens it up. I have um, put two kind of sheets together to create this like... Um, open kind of vision thing so I can keep it all together. I really love this paper and how it says goals. So what I did was um, this goal sheet, let me see if I can pull one out. So this is what the goal sheet looks like and it's really cool. You know, you have your long-term goals, your weekly action. I thought this was great for like, if I'm planning something for work, um, for, you know, smaller work goals, because I could track the progress through the weeks. Or even if this is a project that I'm doing for in my craft area to kind of keep track of that. So over here, what I did was white it out because I want to use this and um, keep this like decorative moment I got going here. And then um, putting something over this to kind of plan out what kind of goals I'm going to do. Um, so I think I have my work goals I'm going to do on this side, um, my family goals here, like what we want or what we have planned for the family in 2019. I know I want to do like a craft room wish list, um, things that I want to get together in my craft room. And then one more thing is probably craft projects I'm going to work on that I haven't finished or I haven't got, I keep pushing back that I really do want to get done. So I think that's what I got going um, for this setup. All right, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull the papers out that we are going to be using to create this goal sheets. So I think I'm going to work on this one first. And of course, I did plan on using this pink paper. Um, and I need to punch it and go ahead and glue it down. Um, my ideas, what I did was I printed out some pictures, things like that I wanted to do. So since this is going to be my work goals, I have this. Uh, my work goals are um, work-life balance. So I need to really work a little bit harder on balancing what kind of work I do when I get home. So there's some things that I have to do for work that I just have to concentrate and I can't do it when I'm around stores or stuff like that. So I want to work on the time I spend working at home versus at the family time. And then also time, putting some time in, um, into my craft room. So what I do in my craft room is projects and creation things and of course planning. So I want to make sure that I can give a balance time for everybody because I can stay in my craft room all day. Um, and so we'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, and then also, um, I think I have some little small goals too, um, like 
things I need to work on at work um, that I'm not very good at. And you're going to see these, but a little bit more of um, just the most craziest things is clocking in and out. Not my thing. Um, I always forget. And then delegation is I always seem to want to do everything and I don't, I'm trying really hard to let other people try to take some of that weight off of me so in my on my team so those are the things i'm going to work on and i thought you know put a little bit of few pictures here and then my idea was to um go ahead and cut out little circles um and kind of highlight some of the things throughout this so it's going to be like a pink and black polka dot and the reason why i wanted to use black is i wanted to go ahead and use um metallic gel pens and so I'll kind of show you where I got these from. So these were um, metallic gel, gel pens. Um, really not a, it's Sargent Art brand. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance for $1.74 and they work really great. So I was um, gonna use the silver pen. I already tried it out. Now, in order for me to cut these awesome circles, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to use my little Sizzix. I think, I forgot what they call this. Um, I think it's called Little Shot or something like that. Let me see if it's on the plates. I for, oh no, it's called the Sidekick. That's what it's called. So I really like this. I was debating on should I buy a big die um, machine um, to cut. But then again, I got a silhouette. And so I could tell you. Having to hook up the silhouette um, to cut just basic little shapes, it does take a lot. And somebody did mention on Instagram, I kind of did like a little question poll, you know, should I get one or shouldn't, shouldn't I? And I really like that I went with this because the dies that came with it, I found that they had a circle. So these are some of the dies that came with it. And... I saw this circle and I was like, perfect, I'm gonna use the circle. So this is really great for cutting out certain um, shapes and things or decorative things that you don't wanna actually have to find using your silhouette. So even if you don't have a silhouette, sorry, I dropped something. <laughs> um, you can use this machine and it was it wasn't even very much. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it on Amazon. And what I like is it's so, small you could take it with you and I love that it has this little lever here and it like sticks to the table so when you're using it, it's not going to move and you could just undo it pick it up and move it so especially when you're doing projects and you're doing so many things at once you definitely want to um, be able to move it out of the way so I'm kind of glad I picked this up and we're going to go ahead and cut the circles out um, for this so it comes with these plates that you put your um, dies on to cut the paper. And I just took some plain black cardstock paper and cut it down to the size of the templates so that I can just easily maneuver it through the machine. So the great thing is guys, you're using your regular um, elbow grease here. So you don't even need, this thing does not need to be plugged in. So I'm going to put my circle die right onto the two plates and then I'm going to run it through my Sizzix. I think I am because it's not moving up. Let's see. Probably doing it the wrong way. Maybe I am. Let's try this again. There we go. have it on there right oh, maybe. I think maybe I got it on wrong I cannot figure out why it's not working now. Cutting.
There we go. Now it wants to work. That was weird. Oh, it sounds like it's cracking, but it's not. It's literally cutting through the paper. So, and then you take it off and you got a perfectly round circle. Love it. And I don't want to waste, so I cut these to where I can make two on one little sheet. I think it's the way I'm putting it in there. It's not catching. Because it was working, and then now it's not working. Oh, it could be that the die is just too close to the edge. Let's go ahead and... Move it down to kind of closer to the middle. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. So the die is a little too close to the edge. And that's why it didn't want to work. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off cutting all these. And I will come back to get you when I'm done. done using the Sissex. We've cut out all of our dies. So I'm going to go ahead and move this along or move it out of the way. Bring our paper back. So we still need to punch this and go ahead and stick this on. So I got my Happy Planner punch. Just going to go ahead and the great, great thing is um, if you get one of these punches it does have the lines that you can line it up with. So go ahead and punch this now and then we'll go ahead and glue our sheets so got this punch what I like to do is just use the adhesive to kind of stick this down so I got my little tape runner this is the um, Tombow adhesive um, tape runner I like to get it right in these grooves too Go ahead and line it up. So what do you guys usually do on your Sundays? Usually Sunday is my crafting day. Um, that's when I want to start planning in my plan with me um, videos or do a planner spread, come up with different ideas, finish off projects. And so um, today, that's usually what we do, um, but because Christmas, the holidays are over, my husband wanted to go ahead and take down the tree. So him and my daughter did that for me while I worked in my craft room. I um, also had to get stuff prepared for work. I am doing laundry. Laundry day is usually Sunday. And then I'm also... Um, packing for a work trip so I'm actually leaving tomorrow that's why I'm trying to get a lot of things done because I won't be back in my craft room for a whole week um so I think this is how I'm going to do it and I'll probably put a little bit of stickers with like clocks um you know different things for work we'll see maybe some motivational stickers so I am going to write on here my different goals um balance work in family time, um, work on time management, don't forget to clock in and out, and probably delegate, delegation. Um, those are the things I want to work on for work. Um, for the top, I'm probably going to put 
a title. Um, so let me go figure out what sticker book I'm going to use for that. And um, I'll probably speed this up. All right. All right, so I brought out these two sticker books. This is the Free Spirit sticker book through the Happy Planner and the Be Happy Box mega book. I kind of want to keep with this theme over here because um, it's the blue with the copper gold. So I was looking for the watercolor little things here. And I think I'm going to go with this one. And then I'll label it Work Goals. So I'm going to pull this off. And go ahead and lay it down up here. Oh, it's so cute with that pink in the background. All right. And I think I have some stickers, letter stickers here. I don't know if I want what color I want to go with. Black. Do you want to do black? Or do you want to bring some shine? Do I have gold? We do have gold. I don't know if that's going to be hard to see. Do pink because I know this is that copper, so the gold might not look good. So I don't know. Probably go with this. Either I'm thinking black, but let me see if I have any of that gold that came with the Planner Society kit. Let me find those. Okay, I think I found it. So these match perfectly with this uh gold there so let me go ahead and use this and we are going to spell out work goals Let's see if i can open this up i haven't used this yet and i do find it easier if you use like um uh oh if you use tweezers something like that especially with these small letters um because they can really be tedious to get onto the paper and then you want to line it up right oh my gosh i didn't even know this was behind there oh no this came with my be happy box no wonder why it matches ha i'm so funny thought that came from the planner society but it was actually the be happy box because this was in the back and i didn't even see that i could use this on a lot of stuff so should have checked that or it could have been, I, it was probably back in front and I didn't even notice. So let me go grab my tweezers and I'm going to lay down the letters. This is what I have. Um, I did write it in. Um, this is probably not the best of gel pens. So I'm going to probably 
try to find me a better, like a silver pen. Um, but yeah, it started to get better at the end. So as you can see, it darkened up, but for some reason it did not want to write very well, especially on my first one, but I got this work goals one done and I'll sh kind of show you what I got planned for, um, my others, but I'll speed through those because it's taking a little bit time to, sit here and film. So I'm probably going to co cover this up. Um, and I did pick out this kind of like baby blue. So I'm going to kind of do some kind of design here. And then, um, this is probably going to be my craft room goals, but I just cut out a few little wish list items. Um, and I have like a family time ones where I printed out some places in trips that we want to go to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up, um, these two. So just trying to think of what do I want to see on the outside? Probably my craft room, um, one. So I'll probably make the inside one, our family goal. So, um, let me go ahead and start that. And of course I'll show you guys my end, um, what I come up with or how it ends. All right, so finish that up. Here's how it looks. There's my work goals. I just put some little washi tape strips to kind of make it look like an actual board and put some stickers. Here is my craft room. And I did label them what months I wanted to purchase these items because they are some, some of them are big ticket priced items to So I wanted to make sure what order I wanted to purchase them in because um, of the need for them. <laughs> So, um, definitely want to, um, these are the way, the ones that I want to purchase. Um, and I believe these are all from Ikea. And the cool thing is I can always add more to the back of this page. If there's other things, I'm sure there's other things. I just didn't get a chance to print them out. So that's something I'm going to be working on. And then this one is I love this page. So these are our family trips we want to take. So we're going to Virginia and we are also, well, my, um, goal is to, for me, my husband's anniversary is to take him back to Germany. Um, so this is a castle that I want to visit and I know the name, but I completely forgot. And I, I even learned how to pronounce it, but I don't remember. I think it's like Nope, don't even remember. Um, but I'll probably put that in the description <laughs> once I, I find the name again. Um, but hilarious, but it's beautiful. And um, I don't know when I want to go. I know I don't want to go in, in super winter times, maybe this spring, because um, it's beautiful weather there. Um, so definitely have those planned. I know Virginia is a must in March, and I'm probably going to put a March um, sticker here, but I'm not sure when I want to go ahead and um, go to Germany. So we haven't picked that date out yet, but I'm hoping this year because um, our anniversary is in April, but we're taking this Virginia trip pretty soon um, or it's real close to April. So I'm probably going to have to wait for a little bit more PTO. On this page is probably going to be an overflow of things I want to complete, projects I want to do, um, or I might have a different sheet for that. Not sure, but this is what it looks like and I love it. Um, work goals right in my face when I open my planner. And of course my craft room because it's my baby and it's not where I want it to be just yet. Still haven't found my vibe. I moved my craft room around and everything is like in different places and I have to keep reaching for it. So I don't know. I wanted a clear workspace, especially for filming, but then I cluttered it up back again with things um, close to me so I can reach. So still trying to figure out what I want to do. But thank you so much for watching um, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Bye.